Federal High Court grants Namdekanu three days to battle fresh bill terrorism charges. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for late stopping by. If you are here for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much once again. God bless you. Now the news reads in details. The Federal High Court in Abuja has granted Namdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, three days to present his case for fresh bill and to challenge the competence of the fresh terrorism charges brought against him by the federal government. A seven count terrorism charge was on Thursday, October 21st, 2021, slammed on Kanu, in which he pleaded not guilty and opted to challenge the validity of the alleged generous crimes. Hearing notice issued by the Federal High Court for the determination of the two motions filed by Kano and signed by Daily Post on Sunday indicated that three days have been marked for the matter. The hearing notice served on the federal government through the Federal Ministry of Justice and to Kanu through his lawyer, Ifani Ijefo, 5th January 8th, 18th, 19th, and 20th, 2022, consecutively for the disposal of two motions. Now, the Kanu is, a, is, is, is also expected to use the three days to challenge the court jurisdiction to try him on the terrorism charge on the grant that he alleged offenses were committed in the United Kingdom and not in Nigeria. His lawyer, Mr. Ifani Ijefo, confirmed to Daily Post that a hearing notice has been served on him and that the legal team is fully prepared for the tax before justice, Binta Iyako. Kano was in June 2021 rearrested in Kenya and extradited to Nigeria to face trial and had since been confirmed, confirmed to the detention facility of the Department of the State Services, DSS, in Abuja on the order of the court. He was first arrested in a Lagos hotel in 2015 by operatives of the Department of State Services, DSS, and was arranged alongside four others in 2016. Among others, Kanu is objecting to the charge on grounds that it did not in any way link him with the offenses and that the alleged offenses were even committed in the United Kingdom. Okay. I released my dream to the Nigerian government before God and men. I, in my dream, I see children in the sky crying to release the leader of IPOP, Marzin Namikano. On that pressure, I see security, the one to free the man. I hear them saying, it is court's right to do so, not their right. I see barrister Ijefo come to court before Binta Inyako. I see delaying, delaying of Binta, and I see many calls going on. I am not a prophet, but it was what I saw in my dreams, okay? I urge federal government of Nigeria to do the needful. May God see all true. But does he recognize the truly, truly what they are talking about happened, but not in Nigeria, but UK? He know that is a crime. Anyway, una like anyway. What una like make una dusha. She, they don't put another seat at home. They ask me if I get anything to eat that day. Waiting I not be, say, we go survive. Okay, these are some reactions by Nigerians and they are still talking. Give them Biafra now, let them go. Mad government. The government should put, she please, tell us and prove to us that all can has been saying is not true. Because our major problem here is we die in silence. The government don't like when they are being exposed. The truth is always bitter. Why? 
they are using Nigeria to catch fun, embezzling everything. Yet, no one can challenge them. Once they see a challenger, and need me to start. Politicians, you all will see your reward soon. There is God. Of course, Mr. Ifani is a businessman. As usual, your team is fully prepared to eat more money from criminal group called IPOP. Keep it on. I like the way you always play their fish brains. <laughs> uh, who is Marzen Nandikano? Who cares for himself? Is a criminal. <laughs> Why do you want Nigeria to release him? Let the UK and the Judaism come and release him. Old fool. Igbo man, he will die in prison. Namdi Kano will die in, in prison. Someone just dropped that. Uh, I believe that is harsh anyway. Okay. Namdi Kano is a freedom fighter who is seeking for the freedom of um, the people of Biafrans from Nigeria government. And these are causing so many problems. Nigerian government said no. Nobody's going anywhere. Everybody stay together. Now the question is, the issue now is not only Marzin Nandekanu seeking for the for freedom in Nigeria and the Southwest, the Yoruba nations, agitators have started too. You get. Namdi Kano has been incarcerated in the detention of uh, DSS. He was adopted in Kenya since July. So we are expecting a court case uh, 18th, 19th, and the 20th of uh, January this very month. So let's see how it goes. Uh, also, Igbo elders, great Igbo elders, as they are being called, have uh, uh, appealed to President Muhammad Buhari to release Mazin Namdekano all conditionally and all that. Though the statement President Muhammad Buhari made when they met him, he said, though he's a very tough one, but he will see what he can do. But recently, the statement he dropped, he said Namdekano cannot be released, that Namdekano should defend himself in the court's law. No, these are...